Welcome to Lassen Volcanic National Park. Lassen Volcanic National Park is located in Northern California. It's a wonderland of crystal clear lakes, alpine meadows, wildflowers, and all kinds of hydrothermal zones. Yet the dominant feature is Lassen Peak, which erupted in 1915. Soon after this eruption, Lassen was established as a national park. Due to its heavy snowfall, Lassen is best visited in the summer and in the fall. However, winter activities are available at each of the two entrances. I've currently visited Lassen twice, and the beauty combined with the diverse activities never cease to amaze me. So I'd like to take you on a tour from the southern entrance to the northern entrance and present to you the best that Lassen has to offer. Over 20 highlights. Together we'll go on drives, hikes, and even swims. We'll visit some of the overlooks and even trek to the top of Lassen Peak itself. If you want to personally visit, it will take about three aggressive days to accomplish everything in this video. If you want to keep it a little bit more leisurely, I suggest either an abbreviated itinerary or a longer stay. Please consider subscribing and let's get rolling. As you enter the southern end of the park, I'd highly recommend stopping off at the Koyamani Visitor Center. This is a great place to meet with a friendly ranger for information, watch the orientation movie, and even grab a shirt or bite to eat at the cafe. So let's make a few quick stops near the southern end before we begin some serious hiking. You're hesitating on this one. Ah, it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> it's sulfury. It doesn't uh, seem like you should smell this for too long. It's like gross, you know? So this is the first stop if you're coming from the southern entrance. It is called Sulfur Works. You just drive up to it, nice size parking lot. You get out, walk over, take a look. Matthias Supan began extracting sulfur from here in 1865, did it for 20 years. So when you're saying it stinks, you're talking literal, huh? <laughs> it's called hydrogen sulfide. And boy. It's coming out of the pit. <laughs> that's sulfur. Look at it. Wow. Sulfur works is super easy to reach and a fantastic opportunity to witness the park's hydrothermal activities. The colors are vibrant, and despite the odor, the smell is still something to be experienced. Emerald Lake is a beautiful roadside lake that gets its unique green color from the vegetation that grows in its shallow waters. It's a quick stop with limited parking, but definitely worth checking out. This is another highlight here at Lassen National Park. This is the Bumpus Hell Trailhead. And unfortunately, there is still too much snow out there to open up the boardwalk. So it is closed for the time being. But we're gonna try to hike in the back way tomorrow. Arguably one of the top sites at Lassen is Bumpus Hell. As mentioned, it was still closed when we visited in the middle of July due to the unmelted snow. If we were able to enter, Here's what we would have experienced. It's an incredible 16 acres of boiling springs and mud pots, hissing steam vents, and roaring fumaroles. Next up the road is Lake Helen, promising one of the most scenic views of the park with Lassen Peak dominating the background. Lake Helen is absolutely stunning. But what I really want to show you is this morning we hiked up to the top of Lassen Peak behind me, and an aerial from the top really brings out the turquoise color in this lake. And if you're wondering, Sorry to disappoint you, America's Parks usually jumps in the water, but uh, there's technically still ice on this lake, so this is totally freezing. Um, knees. The Alpine Lake is over 100 feet deep, and as you can see, the color is magnificent. It's named after the first known woman to reach the top of Lassen Peak. Next is the premier hike in the park, our journey to the top of Lassen Peak itself. It's a strenuous five-mile trek that will ascend nearly 2,000 vertical feet. So you can see behind me, you have a decent sized parking lot. The trailhead is clearly marked right at the main road and it's on the park brochure. Amazing June 17th, 2023. And we still got a lot of snow on the ground. The maintained trail winds its way through mountain hemlock and white bark pine trees. The effort required and the views of Lake Helen and the surrounding area will leave you breathless. After a series of steep switchbacks, you will reach the summit and the accomplishment of a lifetime. Expect to be on the trail for about four to five hours. I also made a separate video of this hike 
which I will link in the description below. Well, congratulations, Julie. Yes, good job. <laughs> Thank you. We made it to the top. How's this for a cool stop for lunch? A picnic table that's still surrounded in snow. You'd think we'd be cold, but it's not cold. Not bad. All right, so this is the cold boiling lake trail. I'll tell you how it gets its unique name momentarily. Kings Creek Picnic Area Trailhead. 1.4 miles out and back. Elevation change, 40 feet. And it looks like it's all at the very beginning. And as you can see on this trail, this area got hit really hard in the 2021 Dixie Fire. Cold Burning Lake gets its name from a small but active spring in the lake. Pressure from below forces the cold gases to bubble up to the surface, which gives the appearance of boiling. So if you pass the Cold Burning Lake and you stay on this trail, you can ascend up this hill to the hydrothermal system known as Bumpus Hell. That's when it's closed when we were here. I'm so tempted to do it, but even if you get up to the top, I understand the boardwalk area is still off limits. So uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a steep one. Uh, it's about 800 feet or so to the area, but it'll basically bring you in the back way. I think we're gonna pass on that one today. So behind me is the beautiful King's Creek. We're gonna take you on just one more hike today. Julie's gonna wait this one out in the car. King's Creek Falls is our destination. 2.3 miles out and back. Elevation change, almost 500 feet. Two years ago, back in 2021, the Dixie Fire wiped out a considerable portion of this national park. And you can see behind me the destruction that was caused by that massive blaze. So if you hike a little while, you'll see a fork in the road. You're going to want to stay to the left. It's more of a gradual loop that takes you down to the falls themselves. Keep going clockwise, you'll come up on the left side. More strenuous, definitely a lot steeper. But look at what you get to walk next to on the way out. That's beautiful. I'm going to sign off for now. I'm out of breath. Uh, get a bite to eat, and we'll hit it hard tomorrow morning. So one of the first major hikes today will be the Paradise Meadow Hike Park at the Hat Creek Trailhead uh, parking line. As you can see behind me, it only has room for about six cars, so you might want to get here early. So the trailhead is across the street, uh, 2.8 miles out and back, 700 feet elevation change. Here we go. Did you check out the size of this monster? We are not too far from the devastation area where Lassen blew out. And uh, when it blew, it really propelled some rocks, big ones, quite some distance. This is the only large rock in this area, some smaller ones, but I'd bet this came from the volcano, which is only like two miles away. Look at the size of that. So as you can tell, we just passed the waterfall and it's all uphill from the start. Probably one of the most wooded trails we've hiked so far when you consider the 2021 fire. Beautiful area, very few people on the trail. And now you can see why they call this meadow paradise. The devastated area is clearly noted on the park brochure and was a stop that far exceeded my expectations. It's a short, flat, and relaxed trail that winds through the area that was destroyed by the 1915 eruption. So the very rock right here is in the forefront of Loomis's classic uh, photograph uh, that was taken three days after Lassen Peak uh, erupted about three miles from here. And uh, supposedly, even at that time, three days later, 
it was too hot to even touch. So this is called the famous hot rock. Along the way are interpretive signs, historic photos, and graphic images revealing the aftermath of a volcanic eruption. I learned a lot and was fascinated by this experience. As we approach the north entrance of the park, we find ourselves at its most popular location, probably the main attraction, and that is Manzanita Lake. There is a visitor center here, gift shop, a museum, and a large campground where we stayed on both of our visits. As far as activities go in the region, here are my top three recommendations. Yeah. No trip to last is complete without a hike around Manzanita Lake itself. It's a flat 1.7 mile trail, and on this trail you can expect to see different perspectives of the lake, wildlife, and some of the most scenic views of Lassen Peak. And if you're up for a refreshing experience, immerse yourself in the chilly waters. Oh, drops off quickly, I can't touch already. Wow, this feels good. I'm swimming colder, but I wouldn't say it's warm water. Would you check out that view? Wow. You coming in? Not today. <laughs> Second is the ability to boat on Manzanita Lake itself. There is a boat launch at the south end of the parking area. or you may rent a boat at the nearby Manzanita Camper Store. And third is the Chaos Crags Trail. The trailhead is just off the road leading to the Manzanita Lake Campground. Enjoy walking through meadows and old growth fir forests along the Manzanita Creek. Eventually, Chaos Crags will be visible, a cluster of six dome volcanoes that erupted about a thousand years ago. All right, so we wanna welcome you to the Subway Cave. 1,300 feet long, 46 degrees. Here we go, I'll give you directions in a minute. All right, so this is a little bonus footage for you here. We're technically outside of Lassen National Park, the north entrance. Uh, you wanna go right, and then you take it to Junction 44, just outside of Old Station. Uh, cave will be on the right-hand side. Subway Cave, this should be fun. Here are the stairs. You ready to go down the subway cave? Ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of enthusiasm. Lead the way. And by the way, what are you doing without a flashlight? It's in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be using this, the old cell phone light then? Probably. All right, let's go. Oh, it feels good down here. We bring the tent, maybe sleep down here tonight. All right, that's what it looks like with my headlamp on you. That's what it looks like with it off. So I think you're at a dead end right here. Yeah. Oh, I'm really digging those pants. Got some sweet reflector tape on them. Oh, good. I won't lose you in the cave. No. I don't want to be lost. All right, that's a dead end. Let's turn around. So this area right here is called the Sanctum. I remember before you were telling me to watch my head. The ceiling there was like four and a half feet. Here you got 15 feet actually in its highest spot. Wow. You like the sanctum? I don't really love the cave, but it's cool. <laughs> Literally cool, isn't it? It's too cool for you. I think you need a nice warm drink when you get out of here. That's not a bad idea. So right here, as you can see, we had a partial collapse. You would not want to be under that when those rocks fell. The floor is very unstable, so watch your, watch your footing. I'm a little more concerned about your head than my feet. Watch your head. <laughs> so after a full day at Lassen, on the way home, we're in Old Station right now, just outside the park. Got ourselves a blackberry milkshake. Does that look good or what? Got some grilled chicken sandwiches on the way. Only place in town pretty much to get some food and it looks really nice. Looking forward to it.
digging into dinner after a full time at this national park. Eat the cherry. What's that? Eat the cherry. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm. So how's your salad? Very good. Very good. Just what I needed. <laughs> you still have a lot left on that plate too, don't you? You can help me. Well, there you have it. Some of the most accessible and exciting locations at Lassen National Park. Well, thanks for traveling with us. And we hope you enjoyed our tour of Lassen Volcanic National Park. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to America's Parks. And remember here at America's Parks, always room for you on every National Park adventure. You take care.